guys are used to going into gyms where you're going to get the best shot. But I mean, this has really helped them out the seating wise and everything. Yeah, I, I still think there's a lot this week and next week that the teams are playing for a lot. Uh, there's still a lot of left on the line for college basketball teams, and certainly in certain situations. But uh, when you look at their team, you know, they shoot a lot of threes uh, in about any way you can do it. They can shoot it early in transition, uh, run a lot of sets where they're looking to shoot the three. They sh they're shooting it at a very high clip, uh, turn people over, uh, rebound it. I think they're in the top 30 in the, in the country and rebound and misses. And uh, they play fast. They'll play some defense where they'll get in the backcourt, press you some. Um, and uh, so they do a lot of different things. And, uh, Obviously, it's a big game, but I think it's, I think this time of year, I think all games are big for everybody because you're trying to get your momentum and you're trying to get where you're consistent and playing at a high level. Chuma Kiki, their forward, kind of sparked the comeback against Alabama the other night. Just what catches your attention when you look at him? He was playing really, really well. And, uh, you know, people might look at their team and think they're a little bit undersized, but uh, between Ian Macklemore, those guys, they go get it, and they play much bigger than they are, and they're quick to the ball as a team. They're very quick, and at times they put five guys out there. But I think he's one of the big reasons they are where they are right now. He's really improved. When you go back from where he started and where he is now, he's just continuing to get better.